This is a sponsored video that contains products provided without charge by the manufacturer for demonstration purposes. All opinions are my own. Which would you rather have lighting your kitchen? Bigger's better, right? Today on Handy Dad TV, we're talking about kitchen lighting, specifically under the cabinet lighting. When you think of under cabinet lighting, do you think of this or this? Coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud, and you know how I love lights. Well, I got some new ones here. Actually, these aren't new. This is what I have in my kitchen. This is from a new sponsor called Kitchen LEDs, and I'm going to introduce you to this product. This is what I have in my kitchen now. These are pretty standard. They are like a hockey puck. That's what I call them anyway. I've got about six of them throughout my kitchen. I think I got them at Home Depot, if I'm not mistaken. And they have, I know it's hard to see, but they have four LEDs in them, and they're soft white, and they have a bit of a lens on them too. And uh, they're good, don't get me wrong, they're good, but they're what you would call an accent light. They just light the shadows, but they're really not bright enough to do work under your cabinets. You still rely, we still rely on the lights overhead, which if you know you're working at a kitchen counter and the light is overhead, you're casting a shadow here. So we'd like to upgrade them to a brighter light. And that's where this sponsor, which is Kitchen LEDs, came into play. These lights are LED strip lights. In fact, there's two strips in every one of them. And they're in this nice, rugged aluminum channel, which makes it really easy to attach them. There's a screw hole on each end. You put them up under your cabinet where you want them, one screw in each side, and that's it. They can be daisy chained together, and you can go up to 10 feet on one power supply. Now, the easiest way to do it is to plug the power supply in somewhere in the vicinity of your countertop. And you could put a, a cord switch in there, or you could have a light switch on the wall that turns that outlet on and off, or you could actually use a home automation dimmer. This one happens to be Insteon, but you can also do smart things and other ones that work with Alexa and Google Home and just kind of tell Alexa to turn your lights on and off, like I do in the rest of my house. So the advantage to these lights is they are dimmable. And they're very bright. So, I mean, you could put them up complete brightness and have no trouble working whatsoever. And if you want to just have accent lights, you just turn them down. And that's the way it is. They work great. Now these come in different lengths. You can see I have two that are shorter and one that's longer. And I'm going to play with these in my kitchen. These are just samples for me to actually try out. Um, they can be daisy chained. They come with wire that you can strip the ends and use them to daisy chain from one to the next. They're really easy to do. Uh, there's no polarity on these. You just basically push down the these little tabs and push them right in. And then, and you can see, they both go on. They come in different lengths from 4 inches up to 34 inches and they cost around $11 for the shortest and around $40 for the longest. And for $20 you get the power supply as well as an installation kit. And the installation kit comes with things like these kind of uh, zip ties to hold your wires up under your cabinets and this kind of self-adhesive stuff that you can hang wires and suspend them. Of course, they come with the screws. Also came with a uh, break-off knife, as well as a scratch-all. That's all you need to install them. You don't want to drill up into your cabinets because the, the base of the cabinet is not very thick, and these screws are not very long. You just need to poke a little bit of a hole and screw it in gently. All right, the installation is really easy. So these adhesive strips are great for holding it in place, but I wouldn't trust them to hold it forever. So that's why you're, you still want to poke the hole and put the screw in. And I didn't mention that the screwdriver was also included with that installation kit.
getting under the cabinets is the hardest part. And note to self, make sure to connect the wires ahead of time. Doesn't look like much from this angle, but I put some fruit under there and you could see this is what the original lights look like. And you could definitely see without them how dark it is under the counter, but there's the new ones. And I love that they're dimmable. They look great. Now I probably would have put this light strip back a little bit further. It would have cast less of a shadow in the front. It would have, it would have lighted more of the countertop, but I wanted to keep the old one there just so I could do the side by side comparison. They're absolutely much brighter and they really do look great. This is pretty cool. I could use these as studio lights. <laughs> Listen, I'd really like to thank Kitchen LEDs for sponsoring this video and introducing me to this product and you. And I put the link to it down in the video description below. So click that link, check them out, give them some love and give me some love too. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty cool. Look at this. Look at this. This is good. Man. I should put them all over my studio. What are you... Studio. It's a shop. Who am I kidding? And it's a mess. I apologize for that. But, you know, it is what it is. Alright. Seriously. Check the... Click that link below. Check them out. Peace out. <laughs>